the city of Long Beach held its 2021 State of the City at the Long Beach Convention Center. Mayor Robert Garcia kicked off the virtual event by addressing the COVID-19 vaccine. We have already vaccinated over 13,000 people. And next week, we begin the process of vaccinating additional essential workers, including teachers, police officers, grocery workers, and residents 75 and over. Next week, we are going to launch VaxLB, a new online portal where you can enter your email and information. The city is then able to alert you when it's your turn to get vaccinated and send you regular updates about vaccination clinics. The city has developed an economic relief plan due to its fiscal loss from COVID-19. We must invest in local businesses, double down on infrastructure investment, and help workers out directly. Now first, we must provide direct relief to small businesses across our city. Now I have been working with the incoming Biden administration on a massive relief bill that would directly benefit cities like Long Beach. I am very optimistic that in the weeks ahead, Congress will adopt a federal COVID-19 recovery package that could include tens of millions directly for our city. Measure A continues to provide infrastructure improvements to roads, streets, and so much more. Even in this difficult year, we fixed a lot of infrastructure. We rebuilt 86 miles of major and residential streets. We replaced 16 miles of sidewalks, installed 1.7 miles of new bikeways, and filled 30,000 potholes. And in March of last year, voters extended Measure A indefinitely, creating a historic opportunity to fix more and more streets in the years ahead. Now, this infrastructure work continues at the Port of Long Beach, where we just opened our new international bridge and set records for cargo and traffic. The state of the city also introduced additional initiatives to meet the needs of Long Beach for the new year. We're gonna expand the tenant assistance program and launch a second guaranteed income pilot to assist low-income students at Long Beach City College in Cal State Long Beach. Now we must also continue to support workers with fair wages and stronger benefits. Next week, the Long Beach City Council will adopt a Heroes Pay initiative to ensure that large supermarket chains are paying our hardworking grocers an additional $4 an hour during this health crisis. And as we rebuild our economy, we must also confront the housing and homelessness crisis that has only grown worse due to COVID-19. That is why tonight I am proposing a $15 million tenant assistance program. This new program will help renters get caught up on their rent and avert mass evictions across our city. Mayor Robert Garcia discussed Black Lives Matter and protests with the city's plan to end racism and promote equity. Black lives matter. They matter to the city and they matter to me. First, we must acknowledge that structural racism exists in all of our institutions, in policing, in education, in the workplace, and in healthcare. After hearing from thousands at community meetings and on the streets, Long Beach released our Racial Equity and Reconciliation Initiative. In this document, our team outlines over 100 initiatives and goals to take on structural racism and promote equity. We have to recognize the harms of systemic injustice and make it the work of our generation to right these wrongs. Now, moving into 2021, you can count on Long Beach to invest and support our Black, Indigenous, and communities of color. This is critical work. Together, let's make our city even better. I want to thank you for joining us tonight and go Long Beach. Thank you. To watch the complete Mayor State of the City address, visit longbeach.gov.